Hello friends, welcome to Talent Sprint. Today I am here with the last week of June current affairs. Let's start with a set of questions here. The first question here, which city hosted two days meeting of expert working group of Paris Pact initiative of UNODC on June 27, 28 of 2019? And the answer here is, it's New Delhi. And what does this UNODC stands for? It stands for United Nations Office on Drugs and Crimes. And its headquarters is located in Vienna of Austria. And this meeting was hosted by the Department of Revenue, Ministry of Finance with the help of UNODC. And who inaugurated this meeting? This meeting was inaugurated by Additional Secretary Revenue, Mr. Anil Kumar Jha. He inaugurated this meeting, right? Now the next question. Which ministry has launched a Go Tribal campaign in New Delhi to create awareness and promote tribal arts and crafts as well as add in social economic welfare of over 700 Indian tribes across the country? And the answer here is, it's Ministry of State for Tribal Affairs. So who is the Ministry of State for Tribal Affairs? It's Renuka Singh. And what's the purpose of this campaign? To promote the use of tribal handcrafts and natural products. And who is the brand ambassador of Tribes of India? It's Maricom. She's the brand ambassador for the Tribes of India. Right? Now the next question. Which state government has launched Krisi Kiosk? which will give the farmers information about the government schemes and also helps them file claims under Pradhan Mantri Fasal Vyama Yojana. And the answer is, it's Haryana. Right? And what is the capital of Haryana? It's Chandigarh. Right? Now the next question. What is the present interest rate on Sukanya Samridhi accounts for the quarter July to September of financial year 20? And the answer is, it's 8.4%. So the government of India has reduced the interest rates for the small savings schemes by 10 basis point for the quarter of July to September. And earlier it was 8.5%, now it has reduced to 8.4%. Apart from that, Kisan Vikas Patri Yojana has rate of interest 7.6 percentage and PPF has rate of interest 7.9 percentage which are also reduced by 10 basis point. Now the next question, India and DAS decided to target bilateral trade worth of 50 billion dollar by 2025 and the answer is it's Indonesia. So what's the capital of Indonesia? It's Jakarta and currency is Indonesia Rupiah and recently who has been elected as the president of Indonesia? It's Joko Widodo. He has been re-elected as the president of Indonesia, right? Now the next question. Name the telecom company that has announced its discontinuation of services on the 3G network in Kolkata. And the answer is it's Airtel. Where is the headquarter of Airtel? It is in New Delhi. And Who is the CEO of Airtel? It's Gopal Vittal. Right? He is the CEO of Airtel. Now we'll move to the next question. Das honors India's chief national badminton coach Pulela Gopichand with honorary doctorate on the occasion of the 52nd convocation. And the answer is it's IIT Kanpur. Now the next question. Recently, Shyam Chundar Mitra has passed away and he was a former Das. He was a former cricketer, belongs to Bengal cricket team, right? Now the next question. Jarnadar Chaudhary, an eminent social activist and secretary of the Gandhi Ashram Trust in Nokhali has passed away. She hails from which country? She hails from Bangladesh, right? And what is the capital of Bangladesh? It's Dhaka. Currency is Dhaka. And who is the prime minister? It's Sheikh Hashina. Whereas President is Abdul Hamid, right? 
Now the next question. Who has become the fastest cricketer to score 20,000 international runs in just 417 innings? And the answer is, it's none other than Virat Kohli, right? He is from Indian cricket team. Now the next question. Former Dutch batsman Marcus Treskostik is to retire from professional cricket. And the answer is, he is from England team, right? What's the capital of England? It's London. What is the currency? Here is pound sterling. Right? Now the next question. Who was given additional charge as the governor of Manipur during the absence of Dr. Nazma Hirtullah, governor of Manipur? And the answer is, it's P.B. Acharya, right? And he is serving as the governor of Nagaland. And apart from that, he has been given this additional charge to serve as the governor of Manipur in absence of Nazma Hirtullah. And who is the chief minister of Manipur? It's M. Biran Singh. And what is the capital of Manipur? It's Imphal. Right? Now the next question. Which is the only Indian city in top 20 most expensive cities in Asia for expatriates as per the Mercer's 25th annual cost of living survey? And the answer here is it's Mumbai. Right? Mumbai has ranked 67 out of 209 cities. And apart from that, it has stood 12th spot in Asia. And in this survey, the least expensive city of expatriates are Tunis. That is at the position of 209, right? And Tunis is the capital of Tunisia. And what is the currency of Tunisia? It's Tunisian dinar. Now the next question. Which is the costliest city in the world for the second consecutive year as per the Mercer's 25th annual cost of living survey? And the answer is, it's Hong Kong. And it has followed by Tokyo, that is in second position, right? After that, Singapore in third position and Seoul, on fourth position right and this is Hong Kong at first position now the next question name the Indian born woman who has won the Miss Universe Australia title for 2019 and the answer is it's Priya Serao and what is the capital of Australia it's Canberra and currency is Australian dollar now the next question G20 Summit 2019 was held in Dash and it was held in Japan of Osaka of Japan, right? And what is the capital of Japan? It's Tokyo and currency is yen. Try to recollect the PM and President, right? Now the next question. First World Youth Conference on Kindness to be held in Dash and the answer is it is going to be held in New Delhi. Now the next question, a memorandum of agreement was signed between the Ministry of Shipping and Dash for setting up the Central for Inland and Coastal Maritime Technology and the answer is it's IIT Kharagpur. Now the next question, which film has received the Outstanding Artistic Achievement Award at the Shanghai International Film Festival, one of the largest fest in East Asia? And the answer is, it's Vail Marangal. And this is a Malayalam film and directed by Biju Kumar Damodaran. And this movie tells about a story of a Dalit family who belongs to Kerala and after that they moves to Himachal Pradesh and in that during the, those period they have faced lot of harsh conditions so all these things has been shown in this movie right and this was the 22nd edition this fest was the 22nd edition of this Shanghai Film Festival right now the next question recently the central government has constituted a working group for the revision of the current series of the wholesale price index and the group will be headed by Dash 
and the answer is it's Ramesh Chand right Ramesh Chand is going to head the group for the revision of WPI that is wholesale price index right now the next question who has been appointed as the managing director of the National Housing Bank and the answer here is it's Sarda Kumar Hota and where is the headquarter of this it is located in New Delhi and established in the year 1988 right and also it was in news that state government has taken the entire stake of 100 percent with 1450 crore around from RBI right now the next question name the person who is elected as the new president of the Federation of Indian Export Organization after replacing renowned exporter Ganesh Kumar Gupta and the answer is it's Sarath Kumar Saraf, right? And he will be replacing this Ganesh Kumar Gupta. And what is this Indian Export Organization? This is an organization which is responsible for representing and assisting Indian entrepreneurs and exporters in foreign markets, right? So it is a trade promotion organization in India and headquarter is located in, again, in New Delhi. Now the next question. Which state government has signed a loan agreement of 250 million US dollar with the World Bank to develop roads and highways? And the answer is, it's Rajasthan. Who is the Chief Minister of Rajasthan? It's Asukumar Galot and Governor is Kalyan Singh, right? Now the next question, the government of India, the government of Uttarakhand and Dash signed a loan agreement of 31.58 million dollar for the Uttarakhand Public Finance Management Strengthening Project and the answer is it's World Bank right and where is the headquarter of World Bank it's Washington DC and it was established in the year 1945 and who is the president It's David Marcos right and we have came across this news many times and what is the capital of Uttarakhand? It's Dehradun and Chief Minister is Trivandra Singh Rawat and Governor is Baby Rani Maurya. Now we'll move to the next question. The question is here, the government of India, the government of Kerala and the World Bank has signed the loan agreement of DAS for the first resilient Kerala program and the answer here is it's 250 million US dollar, right? And it is a part of rebuilt Kerala development program which aimed at building of greenery and resilient Kerala, right? And this will focus on strengthening the state's financial capacity. And who is the Chief Minister of Kerala? It's P. Vijayan and Governor is P. Sathashivam, right? Now the next question. India has signed a loan agreement worth that with the World Bank to help treat and eliminate tuberculosis from the country and the answer is it's 400 million US dollar right and India has a national strategic plan to end this TB by 2025 right and and for that purpose World Bank has given this loan agreement right we have already discussed headquarter of World Bank this is Washington DC and it was established in the year 1945 and president is David Malpass, right? Now the next question, which state government has signed a loan agreement of 328 million US dollar with the World Bank to improve health service? And the answer here is, it's Andhra Pradesh. And who is the chief minister of Andhra Pradesh? It's Jagmohan Reddy. And who is the governor? ESL Narchima and he is also serving as the governor for Telangana. What is the capital of Andhra Pradesh? As of now, the capital is Hyderabad and going forward after five years, it will be Amravati, right? Now the next question, name the payment service provider which has launched Sampo Sajid Health Plan with Health Insurance Max Bupa. And the answer is it's Movie Click, right? And it is established in the year 2009. And who is the CEO of this mobile pin? It's Bipin Prit Singh. Now we'll move to the next question. Which bank has launched Click OD 
facilities for the bank's existing micro, small and medium enterprises customer to let them avail unsecured OD up to 10 lakhs digitally without any documentation? And the answer here is, it's Yes Bank. And where is the headquarter of this bank? This is in Mumbai. And it was established in the year 2004. And who is the CEO of this? It's Ravnit Gill. Right? We have already discussed these things in early session. And what is the tagline of this? Experience our expertise. This is the tagline of Yes Bank. Now we we'll move to the next. A police station named as Kalu has been ranked the best police station in the country on its performance in crime prevention, investigation and disposal of cases, crime detection, community police and maintenance of law and order. It belongs to which state? And the answer is it belongs to Rajasthan. Where is the capital of Rajasthan? It's Jaipur. And who is the chief minister? It's Asokumar Galot. And governor is Kalyan Singh, right? Next, who is heading the committee recommendation for micro, small, medium enterprises sector? And the answer is, it's UK Sina. He is going to head the committee recommendation for MSME sector. Now the next question, who has been elected as the member of the International Olympic Committee? And the answer is, it's Narinder Batra. And who is the President of International Olympic Committee, it's Thomas Batch, right? He is the president of IOC. Now the next question, name the person who has been appointed as the Managing Director of Boeing Defense India on 25th June 2019. And the answer is, it's Surendra Ahuja. Now the next question. Who was appointed as the new chief of intelligence bureau? And the answer is, it's Arvind Kumar, right? He has been appointed as the chief of IB, that is intelligence bureau. Now the next question, who was appointed as the new chief of research and analysis wing? That is raw. And the answer is, it's Sumant Kumar Goel, right? And where is the headquarter of this raw? This is located in New Delhi. And established in the year 1968. Next, the appointments committee of the cabinet has approved the extension of Niti Aayog CEO Amitabh Kant's tenure for a further period of dash years beyond June 30, 2019. And it is two years. His tenure has been extended for another two years, right? Now the next question. Name the e-commerce firm that will roll out multi-brand rewards ecosystem, super coins, using which its customer can shop on various online platforms such as Zomato, Oyo, and Make My Trip. And the answer is, it's Flipkart, right? Flipkart has introduced this multi-brand rewards ecosystem named as super coins, and using that, their customers can transact in Zomato, Oyo, or Make My Trip. And the headquarter of Flipkart is located in Bangalore, right? And who is the CEO of uh, this Flipkart? It's Kalyan Krishnamurti. Right? Now the next question. The 32nd of the International Seed Testing Association was held in Dash. And it was held in? Hyderabad. It is located in Telangana district, right? And this is the first edition of this ISTA which is to be held in Asia and around 80 countries are participating in this association and who is the president of this ISTA? It's Matt Gill. Right? He is the president of this International Seed Testing Association and where is the headquarter located? In Switzerland. Now we'll move to the next question. Mohan Ranade has passed away at the age of 90 and he was a freedom fighter from which state? And the answer is, it's Goa, right? And where is the capital of Goa? 
is Panaji and who is the chief minister? It's Pramod Savant and who is the governor? It's Mridula Shinna, right? Now the next. Which state has top Niti Aayog's healthy states ranking? And the answer is, it's Kerala. Kerala has topped the Niti Aayog's healthy states ranking and followed by Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra. And who is the Niti Aayog CEO? It's Amitav Kant and Vice Chairman is Rajiv Kumar, right? This Niti Aayog was formed 1st Jan of 2015. Right. Now the next question. Government has set up 713 Krishi Vigyan Kendras and 684 Agricultural Technology Management Agencies aimed to target of the doubling farmer's income by DASH. And the answer here is, is by 2022. Right. Now the next question. What is the name of joint air force drill between India and France is being planned at the French air force base named as Monte de Marsan from July 1st to 12th and the answer is it's Garuda 6. Now the next, which country has claimed a historic first ever international women's rugby 15s victory and the answer here is it's India. Right? This is the first time Indian has claimed this International Women's Rugby 15S victory and this is a kind of qualifying rounds for the 2021 Women's World Cup on Rugby, right? And which is going to be held in New Zealand, right? So 2021 Women's Rugby tournament is going to be held in New Zealand. Right? Apart from that, what else we can recollect? Who is the sports minister of India? It's Kiran Riju. Right? Now the next question. The autobiography named Lessons Life Taught Me Unknowingly penned by Dash. And answer here is it's Anupam Kher. Right? Anupam Kher is an Indian actor who named his autobiography as Lessons Life Taught Me Unknowingly. Now the next question. Who was appointed as the new chairman of Internet and Mobile Association of India? And the answer is, it's Amit Agarwal. Next question. Who has been the prestigious Red Ink Award for Journalist of the Year for 2018? And the answer here is, it's Rachna Khaira. Right? She has been awarded as the Red Ink Award and she own it for exposing the function of the UIDAI and its other data, right? And this award given for excellence in journalism to encourage the good quality reporting and analysis, right? Now the next question, who was appointed as an independent person by the World Archery to sort out the ongoing mess in Archery Association of India? And the answer here is, it's Arvina Bindra. Now the next question. The International Olympic Committee announced that 2026 Winter Olympics will be held at Dash. And the answer is it will be held in Italy. Right? Now the next question. Which country produced solar power at the lowest cost globally in 2018 according to the report released by the International Renewable Energy Agency? And the answer is, it's India. So India is, is the country which is producing the solar power at the lowest cost. Right? Now the next question. SpaceX launched its heftiest rocket with 24 research satellites on June 25th. It is situated in Dash. And answer here is, it's California. Right? Now the next question. Which country gifted the Imphal Peace Museum to Manipur? built on the memories of one of the battles of the second world war and the answer here is it's japan right japan has gifted the infant peace museum to manipur and what is the capital of japan it's tokyo and currency is yen and what is the capital of manipur it is infall and who is the chief minister it's n biran singh right now the next question Recently, which state has unveiled a flood hazard atlas for the better preparedness? And the answer here is, it's Odisha, right?
right? And who is the Chief Minister of Odisha? It's Navin Patnaik and he has been a longest Chief Minister in India and he belongs to BJD that is Biju Janta Dal and what is the capital of Odisha? It's Bhubaneswar and who is the governor? It's Ganeshi Lal, right? Now the next question, which bank has created a separate group within its corporate accounts group to cater to the non-fund based requirements of clients in credit light sectors and the answer here is it's state bank of india right and it was established in the year 1955 and who is the head of state bank it's rajnish kumar and what is the tagline of state bank it's bade bank ke bade fayde right now the next question Maruti Suzuki India has joined hands with which bank to support dealers inventory financing and customer auto loans and the answer here is it's Bank of Baroda right now try to recollect who is the CMD of Bank of Baroda and what is the tagline of it right now the next question one bank has approved 147 million dollar to improve urban services in which state of India and the answer here is it's Jharkhand right Jharkhand has been granted 147 million to improve the urban services in its state right and this urban services are like water supply sewerage drainage and urban road implementation right and this is helped by government of India government of Jharkhand and the World Bank right and who is the chief minister of Jharkhand it's Raghubar Das and governor is Draupadi Murmu right and apart from that you can have a discuss like where is the headquarter of World Bank informed like multiple times it's Washington DC and established in the year 1955 and who is the president it's David Marpas now the next question Reserve Bank of India's youngest deputy governor Dash resigned six months before the scheduled end of his term and the answer here is it's Viral Acharya right now the next question Q Dong Yu elected as the head of United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization he was the first person from Dash to be elected for the post and the answer here is he is from China right and he is the first Chinese to be head to the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization and where is the headquarter located this is located in Rome Italy right and it was founded in the year 1945 now the next question what is the name of the book written by the politician Minakshi Lekhi and the answer here is it's the New Delhi conspiracy right and who is Minakshi Lekhi? She is an Indian politician, a member of Lok Sabha from New Delhi constituency and she belongs to BJP. Right? Now the next question, which country become the first Gulf country to launch the new anti-money laundering platform named as Go AML? And the answer here is, it's UAE. Right? This is the first Gulf country to launch this Go AML. So where is the capital of UAE? It's in Abu Dhabi and currency is Dirham, right? Now the next question, who has owned world's most powerful person 2019 in the readers poll conducted by UK based British Herald magazine? And the answer here is it's Narendra Modi. And he has owned 30.9 percent of the vote well ahead of his close contenders, Russia's Vladimir Putin, who has owned 29.9 percent, and US Donald Trump has owned 21.9 percent, and China's Xi Jinping has owned 18.1 percent vote. Right now, the next question: the Kaleshwaram irrigation project of worth 80. 1190 crore inaugurated in which state and the answer here is it is inaugurated in Telangana right and this is one of the world's largest multi-stage and multi-purpose lift irrigation scheme and this is implemented in Jayashankar Bhupalapalli district of Telangana right and governor is ESL Narasimha capital is Hyderabad right now the next question 
Civil Aviation Minister Dash inaugurated the Central Command Center for Air Traffic Flow Management in New Delhi. And the answer is, it's Hardeep Singh Puri. He is the Minister of State of Civil Aviation. And apart from that, you can have a look on this option. Piyush Goel, he is the Ministry of Railways and Ministry of Commerce and Industry. And Prakash Javedkar, he is the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. And Harsimut Kaur Badal, he is the Ministry of Food Processing Industry. Whereas Narendra Singh Tomar, Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, right? So apart from that, you can recollect the constituency of the ministers, right? Now the next question. India has opened its first specialized hydrotherapy treatment for elephants suffering from arthritis, joint pain and foot alignment in dash. And the answer here is it's in Uttar Pradesh. Right? Who is the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh? It's Yogi Adityanath and go Governor is Ram Naik. Now the next question. The book My Life My Mission an autobiography penned by Dash. And the answer here is it's Baba Ramdev. So this is the autobiography of Yoga Guru Baba Ramdev and it is co-authored by the senior journalist named as Uday Mahukkar. Right? And this biography is about the address of major con controversies and what are the turning points and what are the achievements of Baba Ramdeva and apart from the, that it has some highlights regarding the journey of the venture of Patanjali group of institutes right now the next question NTPC and DAS have formed a joint venture to set up national electricity distribution company and the answer here is it's Power Grid Corporation of India. So what will be the, this joint venture? The main aim is to undertake the business for the distribution of electricity in the different circles of India and related activities, right? And this joint venture will be of 50-50% between NTPC and Power Grid Corporation of India, right? Now the next question. NASA's DASH, the first Astrobeat robot, become the first to fly under its own power in space. And the answer is, it's Mumble. Right? Where is the headquarter of NASA? Again, it's Washington, D.C. And it is founded on 29th July of, 2000, 29th July of 1958. Right? Now, the next question. Who owned the 35th men's Asia Snooker Championship in Doha and the answer here is it's Pankaj Arwani. Next, which country won the FIS Women's Series Finals 2019 which is held in Hiroshima of Japan and the answer is it's India and the Indian women hockey team defeated Japan to win this series and here the best player title was clinched by Rani Rampala. Now the next question, who won the 2019 French Grand Prix? And the answer is, it's Lewis Hamilton of Mercedes driver, right? Now the next, who won the bronze medal in vault events at the Senior Asian Artistic Gymnastics Championship in Mongolia? And the answer is, it's Pranati Naik. Now the next question, which country become the first Arab country to join the Financial Act Task Force? And the answer is, it's Saudi Arabia, right? It becomes the 39th ninth member of this FATF, that is Financial Action Task Force. And uh, who is the president of this FATF? It's Marshall Billingsley, right? Marshall Billingsley is the president and it was established in the year 1989. Now the next question, Mohammed Old Ghajoni elected as the president of which country? And the answer is, it's Mauritania, right? And he won the presidential election of Mauritania with 52% vote, right? And this election is the first time ever from their independence, they got independence 
on 1960 right now what is the capital of this mauritania capital is north chot and currency is ogiya right now the next question which state government announce annual health assistance to loktantra sanasis and the answer here is it's haryana so what does this loktantra sanasis means these are the people who were imprisoned during the time 1975 to 77 under the emergency preventive Deten detention laws right for this assistance Haryana government is going to pay around 5 lakhs to the Loktantra Sanasis or their spouse. So who is the chief minister of Haryana? It's Manohar Lal Khattar and governor is Satyadev Narayan Arya, right? And uh, where is the capital of Haryana? It's Chandigarh. Now the next question, International Olympic Day celebrated on dash. And the answer here is it is celebrated on June 23rd. Now the next United Nations Public Service Day is celebrated around the world on which day and answer here is it's on June 23rd so June 23rd have two significant so far now the next question United Nations observe International Widows Day on which day this is also on June 23rd so there are like three things one is international olympic day the second one is united nations public service commission and the third one is united nations international widows day is on june 23rd right now the next question international day against drug abuse and illicit trafficking is observed every year on which day and the answer is it is observed on june 26th next question World Social Media Day is observed every year on which day? And the answer is it is observed on June 30. Next, the United Nations observed Micro Small Medium Enterprises Day on which day? And the answer here is it is observed on June 27th. International Day of the Tropics is observed every year on which day? And the answer is it is observed on June 29th. Right? Now the next national statistics day is observed every year on which day and it is on june 29th so june 29th again has two significance one is this national statistics day and the other one is international day of the tropics right this is on june 29th and with this we have done with the fourth week of june current affairs thank you